college football is finally back, so let's look at my pick of the week. Fifth ranked Notre Dame travel to Columbus where they'll square off with second ranked Ohio State. The Fighting Irish begin a new era under head coach Marcus Freeman. After a decade as linebackers coach and stints as a DC with stops in Kent State, Purdue, Cincinnati, and Notre Dame, the former Ohio State linebacker was hired as head coach of the Irish after Brian Kelly left for LSU. Although Freeman's defensive game plan will try to disrupt Stroud and OSU's overall offensive flow, it'll be Notre Dame's offense that will make or break their chances in this one, specifically in the air. The X Factor is Michael Mayer, who's considered one of the best tight ends in the nation. Look out for him to be a first round pick once he declares for the NFL draft. But their wide receiver depth is concerning as they lost Avery Davis to an ACL injury he suffered in August. Now, Lorenzo Styles, Jaden Thomas, and Braden Lindsey are three guys who will collectively help out sophomore and first year starter Tyler Buckner to keep up with the high scoring offense on the other sideline. On that other sideline, this will be the first home game for the Buckeyes who enter the 2022 campaign with the second best odds to win the national championship at plus 300. This is also the opening act for potential first overall pick in next year's NFL draft, CJ Stroud. He's currently the favorite to win this year's Heisman Trophy at plus 200 after being a finalist for the award last season. We'll see OSU feature receiver Jackson Smith and Jigba and running back Travion Henderson who will have plenty of production on Saturday. If Henderson gets going, it'll be a long day for the Irish. I'm not worried about their offense and neither should you. Having an FBS best 45 points per game since 2019 gives me good reason to expect a lot of points on the board in this one. But in order for the Buckeyes to get it done, their defense has to step up under new DC Jim Knowles. Last year, they were fourth worst in allowing red zone drive touchdowns and were poor on third down, allowing a conversion rate of 41.8. I'm not asking them to mimic their 2019 defense that was number one in the nation in yards allowed, but they need to at least shorten Notre Dame's opportunities by winning the red zone battle and getting off the field as much as possible to give their strong offense more time of possession. It'll be a great game with two of the country's top five teams in front of a crazy crowd in the shoe. I could see OSU picking up points quickly with Notre Dame eventually making it a closer game, but then the Buckeyes ultimately running away with it in the final quarter. So for my picks, I'll go with Notre Dame to cover the 17 and a half spread, but I'm confident in the Ohio State money line at minus 850. So feel free to add that to some parlays.